Okay, now uh, this is a series of presentations uh, relating to infections uh, of the eyes. And uh, I'll be listing uh, the common causes and the less common causes. So the most common eye infection is referred to as conjunctivitis. And this can be uh, caused by uh, different types of bug. It can be caused by uh, viruses, that's viral conjunctivitis. Bacteria, that's bacterial conjunctivitis, and less commonly, um, conjunctivitis can also be caused by an agent called chlamydia. Uh, I'll be talking briefly about contact lens wearers and uh, about a more, a potentially more serious eye infection called the corneal ulcer. This slide illustrates the, the way the eye looks when somebody is affected by conjunctivitis. The redness tends to be in both eyes. It tends to be a generalized redness across the whole of the eyes. And um, there, may be a, uh, there may be a discharge, so it may, the eyes may be just water. It may be they may just water uh, all the time, more frequently than before. Uh, there may be stickiness. The, the discharge might be uh, like pus and be sticky. Generally, there, there is either no or little effect on the vision uh, when there's conjunctivitis. It also doesn't tend to be painful. It can be uncomfortable and irritable, but it doesn't tend to be painful. So listed here, uh, the main types of uh, infection that cause conjunctivitis. So this is viruses, viral conjunctivitis, bacteria, bacterial conjunctivitis, chlamydia, of course, chlamydial conjunctivitis. I've also listed here allergic uh, because it's another cause of conjunctivitis and it can look similar to the infections, although there isn't an infection. So starting with viral conjunctivitis, viral conjunctivitis is the most common, and it's caused by viruses. I mean, the viruses cause many uh, types of infection. Uh, viruses cause things like the common cold and flu, and viral conjunctivitis will give you this type of appearance, a generalized redness of the eyes, and, um, and the main feature is watering. The eyes get very watery, they tend not to be sticky or discharged, and the vision tends to be okay, but the eyes can again be feel sore, feel irritable. This slide shows the other type of conjunctivitis, that is bacterial conjunctivitis. When there is bacterial conjunctivitis, once again the eyes become red, and usually both eyes are affected, it's a generalized redness, and the main distinguisher compared to viral conjunctivitis is that the eyes are not just watery, the eyes, uh, the eyes have a discharge which, which feels sticky uh, and it can be a yellow, a yellow or a white discharge and, the, and it's not uncommon to have to wipe that away. Uh, the vision tends not to be affected unless the discharge actually builds up and, 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 uh, and gets into the tears and, uh, get, and get, that gets in the line of sight. The condition isn't painful. Uh, but again, discomfort can be experienced. This illustrates the third most common uh, cause of um, infected conjunctivitis, and that is chlamydia. It is, it is much less common, but still something that uh, uh, has to be considered. More commonly, uh, it may only affect one eye, but both eyes can be affected. It um, also tends to last longer, whereas other types of conjunctivitis often settle by themselves or uh, settle very quickly with treatment. Uh, this can actually just linger on and, and tends not to settle, um, uh, tend to, tends to take a long time to settle. Uh, the discharge tends to be watery, but um, uh, a whitish and sticky discharge can build up on the inside of the lid. And this doesn't tend to um, discharge off the lid and need wiping away uh, in the same way as the bacterial conjunctivitis, but it can again build up on the eye, on the inside of the lid. And that can be seen uh, by your doctor when, you, when you're being examined. So this slide illustrates the treatments for conjunctivitis. Viral conjunctivitis, which is the most common, tends to settle itself. It has a variable course though, and uh, uh, it typically can take a few weeks to uh, settle fully. There's, as with viruses that affect any other part of the body, there is no cure for a viral conjunctivitis. But the body is very good uh, at uh, mounting a response against the virus and uh, 
um, the condition tends to settle down just with natural body defenses. What you may need for the purposes of comfort uh, is uh, drops to lubricate the eye. So artificial tear drops can be used for comfort, but are not essential. Bacterial conjunctivitis more often needs some uh, form of antibiotic treatment. And um, uh, before starting treatment, you may have your eyes swapped to confirm the infection, or your doctor may give you an antibiotic that covers most infections and may do this if the problem does not resolve. Chlamydia conjunctivitis is, it, it may not be uh, the diagnosis straight away, but may be diagnosed if you have eye swaps taken. And it may be something that is looked for if the problem isn't settling by itself or settling with the normal treatments uh, that are given for bacterial conjunctivitis. If the, uh, if the tests are positive for this, then there are specific antibiotics that are used, both in the eye and orally, and it is advised that um, uh, the patient uh, attends a sexual health clinic as well. Allergic conjunctivitis has also been mentioned in this context because it can resemble other types of conjunctivitis, in particular viral conjunctivitis. Allergic conjunctivitis looks similar in that it's a generalized redness, it affects both of the eyes, and there tends to be a watery, uh, it tends to be a degree of watery. The, uh, the, key dis the key distinguishing symptom is itching. So the other, others, uh, although they can do, the other forms of conjunctivitis are less likely to cause itching, allergic conjunctivitis is more likely to cause itching. And the treatments for allergic conjunctivitis, if it's, if it's diagnosed, are uh, 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 reducing exposure to the uh, provoking agent, using anti-algae eye drops, or in rare cases under special supervision, steroid eye drops. This slide illustrates other measures that you can take when you have an eye infection. Uh, you may be able to give yourself some relief by applying a cold compress of, of cold water uh, and a flannel applied to the eye. It's important to uh, keep an eye on hygiene, uh, avoid, um, avoid rubbing the eyes so you avoid avoid spreading the infection from one eye to the other. Uh, consider not sharing uh, towels with family members. Uh, consider avoiding uh, things like makeup uh, until the problem has resolved. And one other factor to consider is if you wear contact lenses, then while there's an infection, avoid, wear, avoid wearing the contact lenses until the infection has resolved. This uh, uh, is another type of infection which primarily affects the eyelid as opposed to the eye, and this is called a sty. Uh, that's the common terminology. Doctors refer to this as a myogonian cyst because it is, it, it is a gland in the lip called the myogonian glands, which are the site of infection commonly. So these glands produce oils for the lashes. They can become blocked. They, they, once they become blocked, these secretions build up and a swelling occurs and uh, an infection can occur in the eyelid as a result. Uh, so commonly it will present like this with uh, a swelling and a redness and inflammation of the lid. Uh, the, the swelling of the lid may uh, narrow the eye and, and narrow the space between the lids. The, when the lids are open though, the eye itself generally looks white, provided the infection is just restricted to the lid. And um, uh, when this occurs, milder cases can be managed without any medication. Milder cases can be managed by uh, regular hot compresses. And the hot compresses should be done two to three times in a day for a good five to ten minutes. And the hot compresses can be done uh, either with dry heat using a cloth and uh, uh, that can be warmed against a heat source, uh, such as a heater or radiator. And then with the eyes closed, apply the heat uh, to the lids. Or another way is uh, to use water, use hot water in a bowl and then uh, wet a cloth, a flannel, a flannel or cotton, cotton wool balls and um, uh, apply the heat from these to the swollen area. So in some cases this is enough because this helps the pores to open, it helps the glands, uh, it helps the secretions in the glands to liquefy and uh, the problem can settle down. 
although it can take a number of days, sometimes a few weeks to settle fully. If um, these measures don't suffice, then um, uh, or the inflammation is particularly marked, you may need antibiotic tablets to help the infection. And you should uh, see your doctor, who may seek a further opinion from an eye specialist to confirm whether this is necessary. The warning signs to look out for are like the eye itself is red, that can indicate more significant disease and that needs checking. If you develop a temperature, once again, that should be, that should be checked because uh, the infection may not be restricted just to the eye and the eyelid. Uh, and uh, just feeling generally run down and unwell. These, these, are, these are signs that um, um, you may need to have the problem checked further. In relation to eye infections, contact lens usage should, get, uh, should be mentioned uh, uh, specifically because although contact lenses are a great way of obtaining better vision when you need it without the need for glasses and uh, they're very good in social circumstances and for sport, these sort, of, these sort of things and there is no harm in wearing contact lenses as much as uh, you need to but contact lens usage does carry that small risk of, uh, it, of, of infection it can increase your risk of infection it, 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 it is a foreign body on the eye and as a result, it can be a reason why uh, somebody is more predisposed to eye infections. And this might just be uh, due to the physical trauma of the lens, and the eye can become red and develop a conjunctivitis. Or more significant infections can occur on the surface of the eye. The contact lenses sit on the other part of the eye called the cornea, and uh, infections can develop there. The main thing to note is if you develop a redness of the eye and you develop swans of the eye and other symptoms like a discharge or altered vision, things that could suggest an infection, it is important to discontinue contact lens usage until the problem has resolved, until the problem has, has resolved or been checked and, uh, uh, and the and infection ruled out. So this illustrates a more severe type of eye infection uh, called a corneal ulcer. Infections affecting the white of the eye is what has already been referred to, these are called conjunctivitis. Infections, developing, uh, infections affecting the cornea tend to be more serious. And um, uh, this illustrates a white spot where the, where there is the, where the um, bacteria have accumulated on the cornea. And um, uh, patients who have a cornea ulcer um, may actually have some pain may also have light sensitivity, there might be a visible spot on the eye, and um, these, these infections are more serious, these infections need, need treatment and uh, specialist assessment. They are more common uh, in older age groups where the, where the natural body's defences may be weakened, so in circumstances where the, the body's defences are, are down, uh, and they're also in particular common in contact lens wearers. And if this problem is suspected, it does need, uh, an, an, it does need an urgent assessment by an eye specialist, and in most cases needs uh, antibiotic treatment. In some cases, that treatment might even be given in, the, in a hospital setting with admission, and be given quite intensively initially in the hospital. Another type of corneal ulcer is a viral ulcer. These tend to be less serious than the bacterial ulcers. The, uh, the underlying cause uh, in most cases tends to be the cold sore virus called the herpes virus. And patients who uh, experience this type of ulcer may have a history of cold sores, but not always. Usually, in the majority of cases, it only affects one eye. So one eye becomes red. And uh, in addition to the redness, there may be light sensitivity. Uh, it tends to be only a watery discharge. And um, a specialist can actually see the ulcer by using special stains on the eye. And this illustrates the, the, the pattern of the ulcer is actually quite different. Rather than being a white spot, uh, it tends to have this pattern called a dendritic pattern, which tends to be visible only though with uh, the special type of staining. This type of ulcer. Uh, needs antiviral treatment, but again, it, is, it has to be uh, 
such treatment is given on the after specialist assessment and confirmation that this is the cause of the ulcer.